So test it, test the universe, test the universe. Do you know what I want? Do you know what I want? And do you know where it is? Ask that question and then follow your impulse and watch how much of what you want is revealed to you in the next 24 hours. Test it, test it. The worst thing that'll happen is that you'll show yourself you're in a resistant state. And the best thing that'll happen is that you'll show yourself that you're not in a resistant state and some of what you want can show up right now, right now, right now, right now, test it. No one is being deprived of it, but sometimes you've practiced some personal deprivation and you won't know where you are until you focus and see how it works out. We've always liked saying this. We've been saying this for years. Maybe the first thing that we ever said as Esther allowed us to use her words and her ability to communicate. There are two ways to know whether you're on your path. One is by how it feels and the other is by how the path is unfolding. But if you wait until the path is unfolding, then it's harder for you because now you're having knee jerk responses to the path. That's a sort of conditional approach that doesn't work out very well. But you all are in the state. We've sort of lulled you into this by your willingness to play with us and listen to us. We've lulled you into a state of alignment. You are in the closest state of alignment that you've been in, in a very long time. And all the things that you want are queued up for you. So the question is how much of what's queued up for you? That's sure. It's sure. It's sure. You're supposed to have it. You're supposed to get it. You're supposed to be it. You're supposed to do it. In other words, it's sure. How much of it are you ready to realize right now? And there's no judgment about whether you're allowing enough of it or not. It's sort of a self experience. Compare yourself to no one. Just have your experience and notice how much better this day is than yesterday. And the next day, how much better it was than the day before it and the day before it. Every day gets better because every day you get clearer. And every day, your realization of what you want takes on stronger vibrational focus. Every day, it gets better and better. You are not here to experience diminishment. You did not reach a peak from which you are sliding away from. Every moment that you are breathing in this physical body, it is natural that the day after this day is better than this day. And if anything other than that is happening is because you're practicing thoughts about stuff you don't want and holding them as active vibrations in your vibration, in your point of attraction, and therefore preventing the universe from yielding to you. That's the wrong way of saying it. The universe is yielding it. You're preventing yourself from reaching out and taking it. The art of realization, the art of feeling good, the art of being happy, the art of not trying so hard, the art of lightening up, the art of trusting in who I am, the art of believing in the adoration that source has for me, the art of feeling worthy, the art of being blessed, the art of getting a good idea, the art of knowing which way to turn, the art of feeling the compliment and taking it in, the art of giving the compliment and really meaning it, the art of appreciation, the art of love, the art of fun, the art of humor, the art of timing, the art of exhilaration, the art of vitality, the art of clarity, the art of self-realization, the art of being at the right place at the right time, the art of acknowledging timing, the art of being present, the art of feeling the wholeness of who I am, the art of being all that I am, the art of being out here on this leading edge with all that I am flowing through me. The art of rendezvous, the art of recognizing rendezvous, the art of sniffing it out, the art of knowing the path. The art of realizing that I was off the path and doing something about it. Or the art of knowing that I'm off the path and not doing anything about it and then proving that I'm off the path. That's good too. In other words, knowing. Esther will say, ah, I saw that coming and I still let it come. And we say, good that you recognize that you saw it coming and you still let it come. Because that means you're aware, that you're alert. That means you're in control. That means you're guiding yourself. It's all for fun. Not one of you said, I'll go. It's all figured out for me and I'll just go be what's already figured out. That's no fun. He said, I'm the creator. I'll sift and sort. I'll decide what I want and I'll allow myself to receive it. And I will revel in the focal point of abundance that is 
focused and showering down around me at all times the humor and the clarity and the fun ah you're so in the right place at the right time you came into this time space reality for the exhilaration of creation and once you get your legs under you as you say and get your wits about you and realize what emotions mean and start paying attention to how you feel and start promoting for your well-being with your own thoughts and with every word and then watching the cooperative universe reflect back to you how you feel about you period reflect back to you how you feel about you it's an art you got to practice feeling about you in a way that a lot of other people didn't feel about you because they don't have the resources to feel about you because it's not about them feeling about you they weren't born with the ability to do it for you because it's not their job it's only your job the art of feeling about myself the way source feels about me and then allowing the representation of that self-awareness and self-appreciation shower down around me you see such an interesting thing you see someone successful in some way and even though it's something that you want often you're mad at them for getting it <laughs> when you start appreciating and really meaning everyone who has everything that you desire then you're there and that's the best way to appreciate those houses and those cars and that financial status and all of the things that are important to you and we think it's just fine that they are everything that you want to personally experience in a more detailed moment-to-moment -moment basis you can get there so quickly just by observing those who are there and appreciating their nowness in that you see accepting you started out by saying to us you're sort of expressing as a lot of people do it the where I came from sort of vibration doesn't matter where you came from only matters where you are because the universe isn't responding to where you came from and the universe isn't giving you any credit for how far you've come the universe is singularly only responding to how you are right now and not about what you have how you feel you don't have to have beautiful cars in your garage to attract beautiful cars in your garage you just have to feel abundance and all manner of expression of that will show itself to you and you get the fun of following the trail to it you see so uh, in response to that I just don't see then I'm struggling with writing a book that would help me and in turn help others who have gone through or are going through similar circumstances if the well we'd make those chapters short I went through stuff and now I'm here and that's what I want to talk about <laughs> and I could talk about that stuff and you would resonate with it and we would relate to each other but we would hold ourselves in that stuff mm -hmm. so right in the front of this book I want to say I live through stuff that I don't want to keep living about so I'm not going to write about that anymore so if you came to read about where I was you're not going to hear that from me because I'm going to talk about where I am and where I am feels this way and this way and this way and if it doesn't feel good we would not write about it thank you have we convinced you that the path of least resistance feels good or at least feels better than the path of resistance Sometimes you have to let a little momentum go until you can tell whether it feels good or not. So follow it out. Follow out whatever you feel inspired to and you'll know pretty soon whether it's a path of more resistance or a path of less resistance. <laughs>